Kittle, fat, fat Kittle. I'm back, cryptocurrency education with Coach K. We're gonna teach you how to use Jack's wallet today. Okay, so you can use it on your phone, it on desktop. You can even add it as an extension. What I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to use it on your PC like a cold storage wallet. Obviously, if you've used other wallets before, on exchange and other work, if you used MetaMask before, like I've shown you in other videos, you'll know how that works. So you already know how the Chrome extension will look. So we're gonna look at the desktop wallet and the applicability of making it similar to a cold storage wallet where we actually leave things off exchange and we leave them not connected to the internet. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do, download the wallet, click on download now. Um, and then basically pick whichever device if you have it on your phone do that But uh, we're not going to focus on the phone part of the wallet right now We're going to focus on the desktop and using it as cold storage, but you can use it on your phone totally fine um, And so yeah, these are all things that you can do I'm going to show you the best way to use Jack's wallet in my opinion. Okay, so jumping in Let's go right in and talk about uh, Jack's wallet. So I'm going to show you what it looks like first thing you're going to see when you load Jack's wallet is this Okay, so when you see that you're gonna see wallets that you have setting up your wallets your jack So you can actually do this um, They're adding something but don't worry about that for now um, You can exchange crypto over here. You can do many different things on here, but let's first look at um, How does it work the first thing we need to do is back up the wallet So if we ever lose anything god forbid we have it backed up how you do this you say yes You want to back it up and it'll give you 12 words you must write them in order one to 12, okay? And you must see, uh, put them on a piece of paper offline, not somewhere or even on a USB on a, on a stick, but somewhere very safe and secure because it has all your cryptocurrency on it. And if you have, let's say five grand on Jack's wallet, you don't wanna lose that ever. So make sure you have this and I'll show you why it's important. So let's say you did lose your Jack's wallet. Let's say your computer died, you can go here, Enter your backup device and put those 12 words in and it will turn your wallet on as if you had it on the same computer that it had it on before. That's a really cool feature just to know that you can do that. Make sure you always, for anything in crypto, save your backup phrase. You can view your backup phrase here. I'm never gonna use this wallet, so I don't care if you guys see. Okay, so I have it there. And if I ever lost it, I can put those 12 words into another Jack's wallet on another computer and it will work. Here's why you have to keep it safe. If someone gets those words and goes into another Jack's wallet and puts it in and you didn't secure those words somewhere safe, that person can now take your cryptocurrency. So make sure, like I said, put it somewhere super safe. Make a security password for your computer. So accept that, yes, you want to make one, write it in, confirm it. Um, and, and what you want to do is make sure that you have that. And that way, if someone wants to send a transaction, do anything from your wallet, if they get access, they still can't do it. Keep that in mind. Now, moving on, let's look at managing wallets. So there's 80, I think there's 80 wallets or 85 wallets, something along those lines. There's probably a lot of projects you guys know, like Binance Coin, um, uh, things like, uh, let's see, these are not many normal big projects. So Denticoin, Asanum, Vibrate, uh, lots of different projects are in here and uh, we can see a poet quantum wings etc so we can pick all the ones that we want and then basically those wallets will be there okay so when you go to the wallet setup it's there just pick which ones you want let's say you don't have polymath but you want it okay cool now it will be on in your wallets okay next thing you want to do uh, choose your native currency so if you're us dollar based use us dollar now mining fees has three options lower means slower Higher means faster, typical means just the normal speed that it would normally go if you didn't increase your gas rate way, for example, if we're using ETH as an example, right? So uh, basically in layman's terms, lower means slower, higher means faster. If you want typical, it'd be about normal, okay? So that's basically all you need to know about that. If you're a business, you might wanna go higher. If you're using Jack's wallet for business, which you probably wouldn't, but just something to think about. Okay, when you wanna receive cryptocurrency, you go to whatever wallet it is that you have, uh, click on it, copy the address, and send it to the person, and they can send you brick block or whatever coin it is. If it's Dash, you can copy that, and they'll send you Dash, and that's basically it. Uh, and that's how they send you your cryptocurrency. So there's how you receive your cryptocurrency. Uh, the last thing is to exchange crypto. So if you wanna go and change Bitcoin Cash for Bancor, you can do that and it will exchange it for you on the, on Shapeshift for fee. I think they charge about 5% to do those, but they do 
have that availability to do it. And that's basically it. There, there's not much more than that with a wallet. Basically, it's an easy to use wallet. Now, the key point here is not leaving this wallet on exchange. Okay, so let me just come come right back to you guys. So don't leave the wallet on the don't leave your crypto on the exchange and don't leave your wallet on the internet. So for example, if I have my computer right here, right, and this is let's say this is my Jax computer. Okay, this computer will not have Wi-Fi on and will not be connected directly to the internet ever. Why? Because it keeps my security. The security is top notch if they can't get into your computer. So why would you do that? The reason we do that is if it's connected to the internet and someone is a hacker, they could have ten potentially hack your computer and hack your Jack's wallet. So to remove any notion of doubt, you put it offline. Usually you'll use an older computer if you do this. This is what I do if I'm going to use Jax or Exodus wallets. I will put them on a computer I don't use and store the crypto on there. I like cold storage and then put the computer away. Now, there are better options like having a Nano Ledger S or a Trezor, but they cost a little bit of money. And maybe if you don't have a couple hundred, a hundred, hundred fifty dollars around to buy one, then maybe, yeah, you wouldn't do that yet. But that's just this is another option and it's easy to use. And you could use that wallet from many different devices which is great, but also could be a security risk. So that's all the things you need to think about when you're thinking about using Jack's wallet, but now you know how. And so that's the key. Knowing is half the battle, right? Fat kiddle, fat, fat kiddle, fat kiddle, huge fat kiddle.